Greetings everyone, your local shenanigan, we're back in Universe Sandbox 2. How are you? How is your weekend going? Hope it's swimming, and I uh, hope you're having fun. But uh, yes, as I said, we're back in Universe Sandbox 2. And have you ever wondered what would happen if Sagittarius A-Star were to suddenly cease to be, explode? What would happen to our galaxy? So I'm zoomed in here on our sun, our lovely sun. Very bright background because I am in a galaxy simulation. And I'm still zooming, still zooming, still zooming, and boom. Sagittarius A-star. So uh, what I want to do first off, actually, and it'll make sense because this built simulation here is actually the simulation for a supernova. And... I'm just actually going to delete our sun. Now, there's a hun there's there's a hundred to four hundred billion. I'm kind of swaying on the side of four hundred billion stars in the solar in our Milky Way. So I don't think missing one is going to impact the simulation too much. And our big big focus is on Sagittarius A star. A super massive black hole. Now, kind of some fun facts about Sagittarius A star is it pretty much has the mass of 4.3 million suns. That's crazy. No wonder it is the engine that drives the solar system. And uh, yeah, like. Who's going to mess with a thing called a supermassive? Like, black holes are nothing to mess with. But who's going to mess with a supermassive black hole? Come on. Let's be real. Anyway. Let's get back out here. And uh, let's just engage the simulation. It's all fun. To do. And uh, isn't, it, isn't it a lovely sight to behold? We can speed things up here a little bit. And you'll see the gentle rotation. Now, one of the kind of curious things that I wonder from time to time, not, this isn't an everyday thought now, but just bear in mind, I'm sitting here in, in my room in front of a computer recording a video, sitting on the surface of the Earth, which is traveling around the solar system at pretty crazy speeds. And that star that's holding this planet is traveling around the Milky Way at ludicrous speeds and the Milky Way itself is traveling around the universe and like the Milky Way even though it's big she's a big mama and that's cool she's going 552 kilometers per second like that's 343 miles per second so that cumulative speed isn't that crazy like, I, you know, it's like I'm just sitting here in front of my desk, but I'm whizzing around the universe at the same time. How cool is that? But, uh, let's pause. <laughs> let's go back to, get back on track, shenanigans. Get back on track. How dare you? Sagittarius Aster, it's been a blast, but goodbye. Poof, you're gone. You're out of here. So we have our spiral galaxy. So its diameter is about 100 to 180,000 light years, which is pretty big. So what would happen? The engine that is Sagittarius A star is no more. Let's play the simulation. And let's speed things up, shall we? So we're losing cohesion in the center here. Just goes to show how vital having a supermassive black hole is to our galaxy and any galaxy. Look at all these clusters of star and, gla and galaxy material. What would you call that? I'm sure there's a pretty awesome name for it. Galactic material. Roaming. The cosmos. That's pretty interesting. Pretty even spread. Let's speed things up a little bit. 
like, in all fairness, this is happening over millions of years. No longer do we have a spiral, a barred spiral galaxy. We have a donut. I'm surprised about this ring shape that we have already. Which is kind of cool. I'm just having a look around here. So, the gravitational effects of having a supermassive black hole gives your galaxy. It's like I'm on a sales pitch here. The cohesion needed to stay together. Otherwise, the individual velocities of these stars, these clusters, just send them off. Just as if, and we've done it many times, sitting in a solar system, deleting a star, and just the velocity of all those individual planets just, pardon the pun, spiral out. And our galaxy fades into nothingness. And you might go, what galaxy? It's gone. So this um, simulation, it was kind of hijacked from a built-in simulation here, so the supernova one. So. I'm going to put a pause on this one. I'm going to show you what that simulation is as well. And we just speed things up here. So look how big a supernova can look on the galactic playground. Pretty substantial. But again, the distances, the distances involved here. Like we're talking about light years. As I said, the diameter of the, our solar system, our solar system, or Milky Way is up to 180,000 light years. So like, that's going to take a long time for that light. Like if you're in a system over here, you know, you're talking 100,000 or more years before even the whisper of that supernova, which is now gone, um, even happened, let alone, you know, what we can see further afield as well. Like, when you look up at night, it's time travel. Those stars aren't the stars that actually are relative to you in time. You're looking back in the past to events that happened millions upon millions of years ago, which is awesome. So, let me just speed things up here so you can see the natural momentum of the Milky Way. Now, I went too fast there cuts down the accuracy of the simulation so that's not good but you can see that spiral effect and I'm just gonna go back in here and I'm just gonna delete you and I don't want the Sun again in the simulation and uh, let us just watch what unfolds. The death of a galaxy. Which I actually think looks pretty cool. I'm not sure how accurate this will be in relation to the game. Um, they even said it's like it's supercomputers would find this difficult, I would assume. But it's fun to watch, it's fun to talk about. So let me know if you have any fun facts about the galaxy, supermassive black holes, supernova, or any space facts is fun. Sharing is caring. Um, but yeah, let's wrap it up there. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And while you're subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you can stay up to date with the latest videos. And for all you notification squad out there, how the hell are you today? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I've been your local Shenanigan Gamer. And I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy and goodbye.
Young Bucks 2, and have you ever wondered what would happen if Sagittarius Aster were to suddenly cease to be, explode, what would happen to our galaxy? So I'm zoomed in here on our sun, our lovely sun, very bright background because I am in a galaxy simulation and I'm still zooming, still zooming, still 100 to 400 billion. I'm kind of swaying on the side of 400 billion stars in the solar, in our Milky Way. So I don't think missing one is going to impact the simulation too much. And our big, big focus is on Sagittarius A star, a super massive black hole. Now, kind of some fun facts about Sagittarius A star is it pretty much has the mass of 4.3 million suns. That's crazy. No wonder it is the engine that drives the solar system. And, uh, yeah, like, who's going to mess with a thing called zooming and boom? Sagittarius A-star. So, uh, what I want to do first off, actually, and it'll make sense because this built simulation here is actually the simulation for a supernova. And I'm just actually going to delete or some. Now, there's a hunt, there's, there's a hunt. Shenanigan, we're back in Universe Sandbox 2. How are you? How is your weekend going? Hope it's swimming and I uh, hope you're having fun. But uh, yes, as I said, we're back in Universe 